Good morning, one and all. Today we are going to see a small problem on load curve and load duration curve. So here a generating generating station has a following uh, daily loads uh, that is given. That is zero to six hours is four thousand five hundred kilowatts. Six to eight hours three thousand five hundred kilowatts. Eight to twelve hours seven thousand five hundred kilowatt kilowatts. 12 to 14 hours, 2000 uh, kilowatt. Next, uh, 14 to 18 hours, 8000 kilowatt. Then uh, 18 to 20 hours, 2500 kilowatt. 20 to 24 hours, 5000 kilowatt. Now, what you need to do is draw the load curve and load duration curve and determine the load factor and plant capacity factor if the capacity of the plant is 12 megawatt. Very simple problem. Uh, might be your uh, five mark problem like that. So first, uh, what they uh, asked is to draw the load curve. So load curve, you know, so from the data easily you can uh, draw. So previously itself we solved uh, how to draw the load curve and load duration curve. So what is the difference between load curve and load du duration curve that uh, we have seen in detail in our previous classes. So given that, uh, so with that uh, basic data, first what we need to do is we need to draw those uh, uh, two axes, that is time in hours. So wh what I have taken is I have taken like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, up to 24. I have taken next to the maximum demand kilowatt I have taken as uh, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 and 8,000. So you need to choose the scale. Um, with the problem data. So with the problem data, I have cho chosen like uh, uh, 1000, uh, 2000 like that. So here what we need to do is uh, uh, they have given like 0 to 6 hours. 0 to 6 hours is 4500 kilo. So 4500 kilowatt I'm starting. Next, uh, 6 to 8 hours, uh, 3500. So 3500. So 4,500 to 3,500, it is dropping uh, uh, by 3,500 for 6 to 8 hours. Then 8 to 12 hours, 7,500. 8 to 12 hours, uh, 7,500 kilowatt. Um, then uh, 12 to 14 hours, 2,000 kilowatt. 12 to 14 hours, 2,000 kilowatt. Next, 14 to 18 hours, 8,000 kilowatt. So 14 to, uh, to 80, 18 hours is 8,000 kilowatt. It is again rising. Next, 18 to 20 hours, 2,500 kilowatt. 18 to 20 hours is 2,500 kilowatt. Next, 20 to 24 hours is 5,000 kilowatt. So this is how we need to draw the load curve. So easily we have drawn the load curve. And so what they asked is from the, uh, this itself, from the load curve itself, we easily you can find out the maximum demand from the data, uh, within the data or otherwise, uh, uh, after drawing this load curve. Uh, so from this load curve itself, you can easily find out the, uh, the maximum demand. So here uh, uh, from this load curve, the maximum demand is 8,000 kilo. <coughs> so now what you need to do is, <coughs> We need to determine the load factor, plant capacity factor, and uh, and the capacity of the uh, plant is given. So for that, uh, uh, so for finding out the unit generated, uh, uh, sorry, the load duration curve also you need to draw. Now. So load curve uh, we uh, draw and load duration curve. So for a load duration curve, so first you need to sort this loading uh, loading kilowatt in uh, like uh, from the um, Descending order. So from the higher to lower. So from the higher to low, lower kilowatt, first you need to sort. So how I sorted is 8,000, 7,000, 500, 5,000, 4,500, 3,500, 2,500, and 2,000 kilowatt. So here, um, corresponding duration in hours also you need to write. Say, for example, 8,000 uh, kilowatt. 8,000 kilowatt is for 14 to 18 hours. So 14 to 18 hours is for four hours. So four hours. So duration is four hours. Next, 7,500. 7,500 duration is, uh, is for 18 to 12 hours. 18 to 12 hours. Uh, again, it's for four hours. So here, what you need to do is uh, already 8,000 uh, kilowatt, four hours is there. Again, uh, 7,500 uh, kilowatt, again, four hours is there. So here, four hours plus four hours. So you need to add 
the duration. So it is eight here. So again, 5,000 hours. So 5,000 kilowatt. 5,000 kilowatt for how many hours? 5,000 kilowatt you need to check. Yeah. So 5,000 5, kilowatt again it for four hours. So again, you, what you need to do is eight plus four. So it is 12 hours. So 12 hours. Duration is 12 hours. Next again, 4,500. Again, it's for, it's for um, six hours. So uh, 12 plus uh, six is 18 hours. So duration is 18 hours. So like that. Mm, 3500 for again for two hours so 20 hours so um, 18 plus 2 is 20. next again 2500 for again two hours so 20 plus uh, 2 is 22. next uh, 2000 kilowatt for again for two hours so 22 plus 2 is 24. so first you need to draw this uh, uh, you need to sort and uh, you need to mark the duration. Then easily the load duration curve is very, very easy. Just with the data easily you can plot. So 8000 for four hours. Uh, so you need to plot 8000 for four hours. So here in this um, uh, in this axis, it, it is duration in hours. So in this axis, it is load in kilowatt. So here it is duration in hours. Here it is in load in kilowatt. So here, um, 8,000 kilowatt um, for four hours. So 8,000 kilowatt for four hours. So here, uh, what I uh, taken is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, up to 24 I have taken. So um, here, du duration in hours, so here is in load in kilowatt. So 8,000 for four hours. So again, it is dropping to 7,500 kilowatt for, again, uh, up to eight hours, up to eight hours. Again, from 8 hours to uh, 12 hours, it is 5,000 kilowatts. So again, it is dropping to 5,000 kilowatt. Again, from 12 hours to 18 hours, it is 4,500 kilowatt. From 18 hours to um, 20 hours, it is 3,500 kilowatt. From 20 hours to 22 hours, it is 2,500 kilowatt. From 22 to 24 hours, it is 2,000 kilowatt. So uh, from... Uh, uh, by this, uh, we have drawn the load duration curve. Load duration curve we have drawn. Next, uh, load factor. So what is load factor? Load factor is equal to the formula for finding of the load factor, average demand divided by maximum demand. So average demand, how to calculate? Uh, units generated divided by time in hours. So total unit generated, you need to calculate, or energy generated, that you need to calculate. So how um, already uh, we have discussed in our pre uh, previous class. So um, here what uh, we need to do is, uh, so that a particular uh, kilowatt into how much, how, much, how much duration? Say, for example, the first one. Or otherwise, here, uh, here also you can do. It. So 8,000 into 4, 7,500 into 4, like that also you can do. The same thing. So whatever given in the data we are taking. So nothing wrong in that. If you take uh, this also, same answer will come. So here <laughs> you see uh, 4,500 for uh, 6 hours. So 4,500 uh, into uh, 6. Okay. So 4,500 into 6 plus 3,500 into 2. So similarly, so here uh, you see the data. Yeah, 3,500 into 2 hours. Duration is 2 hours plus 7,500 into 4. So here it is 4. Next step plus uh, 2,000 uh, into uh, 2. 2,000 kilowatt into 2. Next to here 8,000 kilowatt into Again, it is four hours uh, uh, because 14 to 18, uh, four hours. So 8,000 into four plus. So again, 2,500 into two hours. So duration is here, two hours plus um, 5,000 kilowatt into duration is four hours into four. So this, uh, you need to add all these things and simplify, you'll get the uh, answer as uh, energy generated is uh, uh, 1,25,000 kilowatt hour. Um, one two five uh, triple zero kilowatt hour it is getting. So now we need to find out the average demand. Average demand. So um, units generated divided by time in hours. So unit generated. This one time in hours is twenty four hours. So if you calculate, you will get the answer as fifty two zero eight point three four kilowatt is the. That is five thousand two one two not eight point three four kilowatt is the average demand. Now we need to find out the maximum demand. So from the data itself already we did from the load uh, curve, we found out the 
maximum demand as 8000 kilo. So here uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to find out the load factor. Load factor is equal to average demand divided by maximum demand. Average demand we calculated divided by the maximum demand. So while calculating, you'll get the answer as uh, 0 0.6510. But the load factor always should be uh, in the percentage. So, so what we are doing is into 100, multiplying by 100. Uh, so we, we are getting this answer in percentage. So load factor is equal to 65.104 percentage. Just tell in the comment whether you got the same answer or not. Similarly, Plant capacity factor. Plant capacity factor is equal to total energy generated divided by <coughs> capacity of the plant into number of operating hours. Capacity of the plant uh, is 12 megawatt. Already uh, it is given in the problem. So 12 megawatt we are converting into kilowatt. So 12,000 kilowatt. So here you are substituting total energy generated also already we calculated 1 to 5. 0, 0, 0 divided by the capacity of the plant 12,000 into number of operating hours is 24. Multiplying all these things, uh, we'll get the answer as 0 0.4340. As I said, into 100. So uh, then only you'll get in percentage. So plant capacity factor, here we are getting that 43.40 percentage plant capacity factor. So these are the things uh, they asked, uh, plant capacity factor, they asked load factor, they asked. Next is uh, they asked to draw the uh, load uh, duration curve and as well as the load curve. This is for a 10 mark question. So simply a uh, very simple uh, thing. But while doing this problem, uh, the calculation, the duration, while calculating the duration, at last you need to get 24 hours. So if you if you are getting 23 hours, if you are getting 22 hours, if you are getting 25 hours, so the problem is wrong because um, normally the duration they will give for uh, the whole day, 24 hours. So while doing itself, uh, the duration if you add uh, at last you should get 24. Then um, the uh, then the duration is correct. So easily you can plot the um, load duration curve also. That you need to remember while solving this kind of uh, problem. It is very easy if it's asked in a 10 mark question. The thing is that um, uh, the, that formula, load factor formula, you need to remember then plant capacity factor. Load factor um, is equal to average demand divided by maximum demand. So average demand, that also you need to, uh, this formula, the unit generated divided by time in hours. So somebody, uh, what they'll do is they'll uh, just uh, randomly solve. Without time in hours, they'll just uh, substitute with the unit generated. Then the uh, answer will be coming up. So average demand is equal to unit generated. So whatever the unit generated, that is in kilowatt hour. Uh, then uh, uh, the average demand we have, have to calculate uh, uh, that uh, divided by that uh, um, time in hours. So 24 uh, hours of the period we are calculating. No? So the time in hours also we are calculating. and. Similarly, we are calculating and always remember like uh, power factor should be in the, sorry, load factor should be in the percentage and capacity factor also in, should be in the percentage. Simply you need to multiply with 100 so that you will get the uh, factors in percentage. Thank you.